Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So today I'm in salon. It's Sunday. I do not normally um, work on Sundays. If you guys look at my schedule, Sunday is never a part of my work day. Um, but I came in today because I actually had a client that I had to come and service due to some scheduling um, limitations on my part, which didn't bother me. So I decided to do it anyway. Um, so today I am actually doing a wash before she comes in because my hair, I think I've washed it three times this week, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, the first time I washed it because it was just really, really time. The second time I washed it because it was shedding and I needed to do a protein treatment. And this time I'm washing it because I've been sweating profusely again. Um, my hair is just, it doesn't cooperate. When, my, when I sweat a lot. Um, this week was just one of those weeks. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I am able to keep my hair moisturized and not dried out from me doing multiple washes. Now this is not from a styling aid such as frizz tamer or leave-in conditioner. Those are external aids. So they only sit on the outer shaft where I need something that is going to really moisturize me in the bowl before I get to the styling agent. So most people would be like, oh no, you know, just leave it the way it is, just leave it the way it is, leave it the way it is, everything's good. And everything is not good, especially if you sweat like me. If you work out, this video is definitely dedicated to you. Um, if you are one of those people where you're like me, where you sweat at night or you sweat within the scalp area like I do, um, then this definitely is also for you. So what I'm gonna be using today um, is number one, well, let me back up. When you're doing multiple washes in a week, you need to use a moisturizing system. It has to be a moisturizer. It can't be a cleanser. It can't be a strengthener. It has to be a moisturizer. And this is why I tell people, even though you might be high porosity, um, oh, okay, I don't need moisture. I need to stay away from it. If you're like shampooing your hair multiple times in a week, shampoo is made to clean. So it is going to dry the hair out at some point. If it's a moisturizing shampoo, um, that's a great start. And then you also need to go through with a moisturizing, um, some sort of mask or conditioner. So for this particular video and today's wash, I'm gonna be using Moisture ELT shampoo, which I'm only gonna do one shampoo. And this is the difference. I'm not doing a full on wash day. This is just more because I had no choice and I already did a wash day when I did my protein treatment. So I'm going to be using the Moisture ELT Hydrating Shampoo and then I'm also going to be using our clay um, mask, which is a moisturizing mask. It's a clay mask. So I'm going to be using both of these. So that's what that looks like. And then the Moisture ELT Shampoo. So how am I able to do this? And I know a lot of you who purchased from the site before um, purchased Sets and you're like, well, wait, 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 wait. How am I gonna how am I gonna get that means I have to get the shampoo and a conditioner just for me to get the conditioner or just for me to get the shampoo? You don't have to do that any longer. We are actually today finishing up the site where we have split up all of the shampoo and conditioner sets, where you'll now be able to purchase each item individually, whether you want um, a shampoo and then you want a conditioner. So we're making it a lot easier. For you to be able to customize your hair care regimen because as you guys know i don't use the same system every time i shampoo my hair each individual item that i use is catered towards what my hair needs at that moment so the only system that will not be able to be separated is the protein system because you do need part one and part two for that to work so this system will not be separated but all of the other systems um moisture elt hair repair i'm trying to warm the water up um, hair repair, hydro strength, all of these will now be available in individual um, bottles instead of having to get the set. So we're making it a lot easier for you to be able to customize your hair care set regimen because I know a lot of times you need one and you might not need the other. You need strength, but you need moisture. Um, you need maintenance, but you need a moisture shampoo. So this is how we're going to make it a lot easier for you guys to be able to get those products and take care of your hair and respects to your hair care regimen right away. So my hair right now is nice and hard from the spritz <laughs> that I use every single day. 
Um, if you notice, the spritz did not hold my hair this week. That is the hard life. So what I'm going to do is shampoo my hair now. I'm going to tilt the camera down, and then once I get to the dryer, I'll be able to answer any of your um, hair care questions that you might have in regards to what we're talking about today. So I'm going to tilt you guys down just so you can kind of see what I'm doing. There we go. The water is warm. Um, I don't shampoo with cold water. I don't, it doesn't matter if I'm doing a maintenance shampoo or a wash day. I do not shampoo with cold water. I need to remove the dirt, not lock it in. And that is So for the first shampoo, which I'm only doing one shampoo, as I said, I'm using the Moisture ELT. This is a really intense moisturizer. It literally gives the hair this beautiful slip. It makes your hair feel really, really soft from the beginning. That's one thing that I can say about Moisture ELT. Like I have no complaints with Moisture ELT whatsoever. And I'm high porosity and I still use it on my hair. So that tells you high porosity, low porosity, you can still use it on either side. Now what I'm doing is really lathering it up because I wanna get all that spritz out and get that sweat out of there. But when you're doing a maintenance wash, you don't wanna do multiple washes unless it's really, really required because that is also how you dry the hair out. And I'm gonna do an instant condition today so I didn't wanna dry it out again by doing multiple shampoos. Keep in mind, the goal of shampoo is to clean. While it might be a hydration, a strength, all that good stuff, that is the process where it is cleaning and treating at the same time. So cleaning is always the most important factor. All right, so let's rinse that out. All right, so I'm gonna squeeze out the excess water. Why do I squeeze out the excess water before I apply the conditioner instead of just applying it to the hair while all the water is dripping? First things first, the conditioner is going to drip as well if you have a head full of water, okay? So I like to towel dry the hair slightly before I put my conditioner on. There we go. So I'm using the clay mask. It's a charcoal clay mask. Okay. A little goes a long way, guys. Okay. A little goes a long way. You put it in your hand. It's really thick. Okay. Very, very thick. It has a nice minty smell, but it actually hydrates the hair almost instantly. This you can also go under the dryer with if you choose. Okay, just like that. And then I can actually take a comb and just comb straight through my hair because it has actually already softened it up. And I like to use the comb on my hair because it's kind of like stimulating the blood flow and it gets any itch that I might have. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna let that sit for a minute or two. I'll read some of your comments while I let it sit for a second. Instant condition doesn't mean just put it on and take it right off. Instant condition means less than five minutes, just so you guys know. That's how you instant condition. Putting it on or rinsing it right off isn't really helping, but an instant condition, you can leave it on for, for anywhere under five minutes and then you rinse it off without heat. All right. Morning, well, let me go back up. Let's do this. I'll go back up if I see any questions. I'll read them really quick. If not, we'll move on. Good morning. 
Let's see. Hello, good morning. You're the bomb. Thank you. I've had a steam on my hair from Friday. Is this okay? Absolutely not. That is how you build up product on the cuticle of the actual head. You don't leave product on the hair, especially if it's meant to be rinsed off. I just recently relaxed my hair. What are your pro what are your products do I need to use to grow my hair? Um, for high porosity hair, definitely the hair repair and growth shampoo and conditioner set. That's a strengthener. Soon our protein will be available, which will be February 1st. That's the most definite because you'll need that as a band-aid on the boo-boo and also to treat your hair after a relaxer system at least two or three weeks after. And then you can most likely get our moisturizing conditioner for when you need to hydrate the hair or you can do the clay mask, okay? The clay mask works as well. Uh, let's see. And also I would like to know about your new shedding product that I've seen to keep your hair from shedding. I just mentioned it without even reading your question. Do you post your hair products to England? Yes, we do. Shipping is $40. It's gone up $2 because it's really costly. So it's $40 for shipping to the UK until we find a UK distributor. Thank you, guys. Hi, again. My edges won't grow due to me going and getting braids and sew-ins. What can I use? First and foremost... You have to stop the negative behavior or nothing is going to work. There's no miracle product that's going to work unless you do the do do what needs to be done first. So that's very important. Um, secondly, the edge repair system, it will definitely be a bestie, but there's nothing going to work until you really lay off of what you're doing. What is the best detangler for low porosity hair? Moisture ELT and also the Moisture ELT leave-in is an amazing detangler. You can use it to detangle and then rinse it out. I have a texturizer professionally done. <laughs> Thank you, DeMarco, for telling me. Uh, what moisturizers do you recommend? Moisture ELT. How do Olaplex Step 1 and 2 differ from your protein treatments? It's a protein treatment. Olaplex is not a protein. That's how they differ. Uh, good morning, sunshine. How do I know what hair type I have? Um, you have to do a porosity test, number one. And then number two, look at your coils when the hair is wet. That'll tell you your hair type. Where can I purchase your products? I'll put the link in the description. I mean, in the um, chat thing here. There you go. It's right there. I want to be a distributor in Jamaica. Sophia, send me an email and we will discuss that going forward. I'm happy I caught this live. Thank you. Okay, so my head is nice and cool. That's one thing that I can also say about the detox mask, which is also a moisturizer and a clay-based mask. It also takes away any itch that you have right away, like the amount it's just been sitting on my head for the couple minutes that I've been reading your comments. And literally my head is just like, ha, ah, it's really cool. It doesn't tingle, but it has this very cooling sensation, but it doesn't make my hair feel very dry. That's the difference. A lot of times, anything that has that cooling sensation is more like a tea tree or a menthol, but they usually don't put a lot of humectants in it to allow that moisture. Whereas our um, clay mask actually does apply that moisture at the same time of removing that itch and soothing the scalp. So I'm gonna turn the water to cool. I, I didn't make it like cool, cool as I can do it today. And we're gonna rinse it off. Right, leave out the excess water. 
for the couple strands of hair that I have. Your girl has squeeze action, y'all. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna towel dry. And then of course, we're always gonna follow with our leave-in conditioner, which I am using our Elite Hydration and Strength Leave-In Therapy Spray. You always wanna shake this up before you use it, okay? Any type of leave-in, you wanna shake it up before you use it. And then we'll just spray a little. If you guys notice, I'm not right here spraying on my head. I'm misting it on, it's a mist. And a little goes a long way. Most of our products, we make them where a little goes a long way. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and mold my hair. So I'm gonna bring you guys over to my station so you guys can see. Well, I really don't have to do that. Let me just go get the wrap stuff and then we can just do it that way. Okay, so I have two wrap strips and then I have our Elite Silk wrap foam and then my comb okay so we're gonna go ahead i'm just gonna have to watch myself do my my laptop here all right so I'm gonna go ahead and do my up style. Whenever I do down styles, they don't last. It's too close to my actual heat zone and it doesn't seem to last for me. So I'm gonna go back to my up style. Sorry guys, I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at my computer <laughs> so I can see what I'm doing. Right, so we're nice and wrapped up. I'm gonna take my wrap strip. I stretch these before I use them, okay? The reason why I stretch it before I use it is because I want to, I don't want to disturb the mold when I'm wrapping it. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my second strip. Now you can use the second strip as a whole strip I part more part started parting mines in half because I don't need it to hold the mold. I just need it to hold the other wrap strip in place. And I don't want it to hinder the drying of my hair. So I just use it that way just so it'll hold it in place because you have to be able to keep your mold in place for at least 20 minutes while you're under the dryer so that the mold actually sets. After 20 minutes, usually at that point, you can either take the strip off or you can leave it on and allow it to continue. To dry. So I'm going to go over to the dryer. I'll read you guys' questions and then we're going to finish our live. But I do hope you guys got some insight on how to keep your hair moisturized after multiple washes. So let me take you guys over here with me. Did I just mess with my, my little system here? I did. This is my laptop, guys. That's what you guys see me looking at. I've been looking at this the whole time. So now I can actually read your questions and I can answer if I'm sitting. So that's what you guys are seeing right now. <sighs> and my camera quality is a lot better. All right, so let's go and read a couple questions. I'll go back to where I was. I watch you all the time and want to know how you or will you be doing a buzz cut growing out on relaxer? No, I won't. A buzz cut on relaxer is not really something that I would need to do. That's more for a barber. So you probably need to find a barber channel. Hey, Miss Crystal, I'm a stylist who wants to try some new products. How can you tell if you're low or high porosity? 
you need to do a porosity test. Uh, what is the main purpose of the detox mask? I shouldn't, it shouldn't really have been titled a detox mask, even though it does also detox because it applies that, that cooling sensation and really calms the scalp. It's more a moisturizing clay mask. It's a clay mask. It's a treatment. So it's made to be used as a treatment to apply that moisture to actually heal and soothe the scalp. That is what masks are usually treat, used for. They're treatments. I just use mine as an instant, but I did it for less than five minutes. So I did it between two and five minutes. Yes, Bridget, most times the cooling agent in the products is drying. The good thing about the clay mask is it has more emollients and humect or humectants in it so that it doesn't dry the hair out. How do you know when your hair is hydrated? You can tell, you can tell how it feels. Um, you can tell the weight of the hair. Um, it, it doesn't just feel, it, it doesn't feel like when something's dehydrated, it feels very, very dry. It has a feeling to it. I can't, I'm trying to describe it in a better way, but how I can tell, I can look at the hair and tell if it's dehydrated. It always has this very dull tinge to it. Um, even when it's not damaged, it just looks very dull. It, it has that dull look. It has that hard, crusty feeling, that kind of thing. Just in my shampoo and conditioner, my head feels great. Thank you, Maria. I did the Afogee two-step protein two weeks ago, and now I need a relaxer. Is it okay to put one in at this point? You need to ask your stylist that, my love. Your stylist will be able to tell you better. Heat zone, what is that? So your heat zone is everything that's an inch or below from or an inch up to an inch away from the scalp. The heat from the actual body. It's your body heat. It usually radiates about quarter of an inch to an inch out. I also want to have a lot of not, I also want to have a lot of nuts on the ends of my hair. How can I prevent this from happening? Um, detangling, moisturizing, and making sure you're getting your trims on time. Everyone, don't forget to go out and live and hit the like button. Exactly. I need to be at at least 100 likes, which is coming out of the chat and going and hitting the thumbs up and then come back into the chat. It doesn't take you out of the video, it just takes you out of the chat. And thank you to everyone who thumbs up on their way in. Thank you, A and K. I ordered the Hero with the CBD. Can't wait till it comes. Thank you. I usually wash my hair once a week, but this week I had no, this is another reason why I don't like down styles on me because I sweat so much that my hair just becomes very heavy and just, it won't, it won't stay. It's just rooted up. So I, I've washed it a couple times this week. When you have a session on treating gray straightening shampoo, total care, thanks. Is it better to transition to natural if I now live in France and can't find relaxed stylists? I'm just relaxed twice a year when I'm in the States. There are stylists there that, that, that relaxes hair. You just have to really look. There are stylists. There's a lot of African-American stylists in France, actually. Good morning, Crystal. How are you today? I am good. Hello, everyone, Crystal. I have natural hair, natural color treated hair. My hair does not grow fast and it's thin when I blow it out and tends to get real dry. So it sounds like you're blowing it out when it's sopping wet. So that is a, an ultimate easy way to make it even drier. Number two, you might have fine textured hair, which the blow dryer is not the greatest for fine textured hair. It's better that you let it air dry or diffuse dry under a dryer and then blow it out. Does your shampoos have CBD in them? The hair repair and growth shampoo does. Non-THC. How do you do a porosity test? I have 100,000 videos on it. Where are you located? I'm in Apopka slash Orlando slash Altamont, Florida. Um, you're a good teacher. Thank you. Let's see. I'm going to tell my aunt about you. She's a very sensitive scalp. Thank you. Do you do the mask, then deep conditioner, or deep conditioner, then mask? If you do the mask, you don't need the deep conditioner. Do the mask as your deep conditioner. 
try to keep your edges from drying out. Um, you can use oil. That's the easiest way. It's an external product. How are you going to be, how long are you going to be under the dryer? A long time. <laughs> 30 minutes, maybe. I've been watching your videos for a while, and I know you don't advise doing chemicals at home, but you still recommend moisture ELT if chemical. Thank you, Harriet. Harriet sent me this little thing. I forgot what it's called. I forgot what those are called. Super Chats. She sent me a donation. Thank you. Mm -hmm. treatments I don't know. Uh -huh. Yes, more cereal tea is fine at home. I have a little porosity here when rinsing out ELT conditioner. Do I use warm water to rinse it out? Nope. Still use cool water, but you do the ELT and go under the dryer first. And then use the cool water to close the cuticle back up. You don't want to try to use hot water to leave it open. I've heard people doing that, but then it becomes a yin and a yang. How would you like to make it happen? Didn't realize you were in Florida. I just posted a comment on your protein replenisher system. Are there pre-sale with this system? I use your products with phenomenal success. Mitzi, I may do a pre-sale on it, but I'm not certain. I might, but I'm I'm kind of leaning towards no and just wait until it releases. Thank you, Harriet. Harriet is the one that taught me about this um super chat thing where you can show support to my channel by donating monies. That was like, I was never one to do all that. And I was telling her, she's like, Crystal, you know, Harriet keeps me on my toes. She's like, all these other channels do that. That's how they keep their channel going. So I appreciate that. Didn't realize you were in Florida, I got that part. I don't have a hair dryer like yours. Can I use a dryer? Yeah, thank you. You make it so easy to understand. Thank you. I bought your detox and moisture ELT bundles. I used the detox one last night and I am and was a product junkie. I will now be an elite hair care junkie. <laughs> yes, super chat. And thank you, Harriet. Harriet keeps me on my toes, you guys. Harriet is my, my go to. That's my bomb diggity. That's my girl. She keeps me going. What can I use for thickening the edges out of the? Brown the edge repair system. And if you guys have not noticed, thank you, DeMarco. If you guys have not noticed, um, the line is evolving in regards to the look. Um, now, as of right now, the line itself is changing to more golds. If you guys know, my color is gold, okay? So my colors are gold, black, white, that kind of thing. So that is where we're going now. You'll start seeing the bottles, the labels. Everything is getting so much more luxurious on purpose. Good morning. When will your hair repair and growth bomb be back in stock on your website? Man, I think I've updated the stock on that thing four times. <laughs> I'm going to update it again after this video. Yes, shout out to DeMarco for the support. Thank you so much, DeMarco. Even a dollar ninety nine is nice. It helps me get these kind of things. These thing on this expensive laptop that I went and bought for thirteen hundred dollars because I wanted to make sure you guys have better quality. So thank you so much. As you notice, I also got a new camera, which is even better quality. So no more using my cell phone and phone calls coming in and chats cutting off. So yep, yeah, that's where all the support and stuff goes to. I'm not using it to buy shoes. I use anything that comes to me to buy better technology, put more towards my channel, that kind of thing. In brief, a stylist burned my hair in the front with a hot comb. What products do you suggest while that portion grows out? Um, I mean, honestly, we're not going to focus on the part that's burnt out because that's more like it's just it was one sweet burn. So everything else, you're going to go based on your porosity and just care for it as you would on a normal day outside of the burn. The difference is with you, it's not a situation where it was um, chemicals and that kind of thing. It was a solid burn with a hot comb. So in the meantime, of course, moisture is going to be a bestie, but you do definitely need to know your porosity. 
it is okay to slide a new pair of shoes in the closet, but anything that I get from my YouTube channel in regards to like donations and you know that kind of thing, that goes towards making my channel even better. And my laptop's about to cut off. That kind of stuff I use towards my channel itself. And then I have a moisturizing shampoo I actually leave my hair feeling hydrated afterwards, even if I left so soft. It was that squeaky type clean where I immediately had to put on the conditioner. Wow. Thank you, Betty. Thank you, Janelle. Oh, she burned it off at the scalp level. I have low porosity, fine curly hair. I mean, even at the scalp level, it was a burn off. It wasn't a chemical burn. It wasn't from mal, like, you know, not being like malnourished, that kind of thing. It was from... It was from um, user error. You're so amazing. Thank you for always giving us good info. Thank you. All right, guys, so I am going to go ahead and end the live because I need to get myself prepared for my client who's on her way in. And she should be doing that now. Okay, so I'll see you guys later on. I'll probably actually come back on live because I'm doing micro links on her. So I'll come back towards the end when it's styling time so you guys will be able to see the finished product. We have a lot of preparation to do. Thank you, Eleanor. Eleanor just sent me five bucks. Thank you, Eleanor. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't wait to see you Friday. My hair is a hot mess. I need help. <laughs> Andrea, I'm really excited about New York. I can't wait to see everybody in New York. So thank you guys so much. Yes, shout out to Eleanor for the support. Thank you, Eleanor. Thank you. All right, guys. So I am about to go ahead once again for the 19th time and end the live. And I'll see you guys shortly. Bye. Chicago tickets are available now.